Hello everyone, and welcome to my British Royal Family official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sovereign Elizabeth Alaya invited Liz support at Balmoral on this day last year, in one of her last ventures as ruler before her demise on September 8. Sovereign Elizabeth Alaya got recently chosen moderate pioneer Liz Brackett at Balmoral on this day last year, only two days before her passing. The emotive pictures were caught in the green drawing room at Balmoral Palace, and the main shows her remained solitary grinning at the camera as she gripped a walkling stick. She wore a shirt, pullover, and a skirt of Balmoral plaid, matched with patent level shoes. Resulting pictures showed her hello and support, whose short residency as state head started on September 6, when she acknowledged a greeting from the sovereign to frame an administration. Only two days after the fact, Buckingham Royal Residence declared that the sovereign's well-being had declined and reported her passing to the world a few hours after the fact. Sovereign Elizabeth's companion focuses on what work she would have wanted to do. At the time the photographs were delivered, remarks were made on how slight the 96-year-old ruler looked, with some bringing up her hand seemed wounded. However, as this was the first time she had been photographed in months, fans were overjoyed to see the Queen smiling. Individuals have answered the legacy pictures on Twitter, with many saying exactly the way that missed she is. Such a daring solid sovereign, actually missed. What a superb woman she was. I miss her to such an extent. A third composed, how miserable. Who could have foreseen that she would die two days later, Qi was a brilliant lady. The ruler confronted continuous portability issues and had been seen not very many times in that frame of mind of her platinum celebration festivities in June. Her well-being was the explanation that her notable gathering with M's bracket changed scene to her Aberdeenshire home as the ruler commonly meets another head of the state at Buckingham Castle, simply a short excursion from bringing down road. Be that as it may, she showed up in pleasantness and, not long before Anne's Brackett's appearance, remarked on the dull skies over her Scottish home. The new PM's journey north had been slowed by roughly ten minutes due to the terrible weather. The monarch's fifteenth meeting with a prime minister in her seventy years of rule lasted just over thirty minutes. After two days, Anne's Brackett would remain outside bringing down road to convey a discourse on the passing of the sovereign. She said the news was a gigantic shock to the country, adding, the foundation of modern Britain was Queen Elizabeth EU. Under her rule, our nation has expanded and prospered. England is the extraordinary country. It is today a result of her. My own experience started after 9 a.m. on the very first moment when the line stayed straight and hadn't yet arrived at Westminster scaffold. Everybody appeared to be straight from the morning chill and we were all anxious to accept our wristbands, denoting our notable line spot and number. The vigorous traditionalists were at the front, gladly decked out in association jack clothing, conversing with columnists from across the world. I joined the line close to the coronavirus commemoration wall extending for 500 metres in verse the royal residence of Westminster. Everyone was talking about it. Hemmingsley says the impactful messages, scribbled across red hearts, felt especially significant for individuals who showed up as of now in the course late or hungry, with low energy and feeling. I was extremely struck by how instinctive the feeling of grieving was before you crossed the stream, she says. The two of us saw an astonishing number of people who had made the excursion for another person, be that an evil companion or a long-lost family member. Hemmingsley asserts, people waited in line for people. There were many individuals doing it for relatives who couldn't go and who were taking part in live WhatsApp gatherings. She talked to one woman who had waited in line twice, the second time to go with a friend, because that's what my grandmother would have done. She additionally experienced servicemen who felt tremendous sorrow at losing their president and lined in uniform as the night progressed. Numerous people discussed having groundbreaking encounters. One woman was extremely overweight and had been determined to have a difficult sickness yet. 
after a spell of emergency clinic. That's what she understood assuming those outsiders thought often about her. She ought to think often more about herself, Hemmingsley makes sense of. She has since lost four stone and got off pain relievers. The author was influenced by their experiences, but she did not include the actual stories of the people. She provides the following explanation. It was too much of a personal and emotional experience for me to hijack what other people had individually experienced. She also did not write about the political climate of the time or the famous people who attended. Famous people like David Beckham, Sharon Osbourne, Tilda Swinton, and Dane Kelly Holmes waited for hours to pay their respects. Television moderators Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield, on the other hand, were generally censured for bouncing the line. All things being equal, Hemmingsley peppered her composition with particular tales and expounded on the mortgage holders on the way who opened their entryways for late train stops or revived hailing walkers with shorts of liquor at 12 p.m. It is unbelievable that over a long time back, you wouldn't give your closest companion access to your home, not to mention have all-out outsiders utilize your loo, Hemmingsley giggles. That's what that felt unmistakable and a few group referenced. It felt soothing to realize we hadn't lost the capacity to welcome. While the occasion was communicated overall across news and online entertainment channels, Kuvas partook in the opportunity for self-reflection and examination. There was a haphazardness to the connections framed, Hemingsley says. These individuals were not really doing it for a crowd of people, it was something contrary to an internet-based calculation. However, the creator doesn't think we'll at any point see a line like it once more. Indeed, we surely will not for a ruler except if a serious degree of boundless maturing is designed, she jokes. No ma. Queuing has never been more poignantly observed than when the late queen was lying in state, when over 250,000 of us stood in line to pay our respects. We are united in quintessentially British. A year on, one creator has tracked down motivation in the feeling of emotionless fellowship, began with a solitary individual and finished with a country joined together, in sorrow, regard, fellowship and appreciation. Last year, people waited in line to see Queen Elizabeth EU lie in state at Westminster Hall. During her 70-year reign, which was marked by restraint and quiet servitude, she was the longest-serving monarch in British history. However inquisitively, for an occasion brought into the world from death, it immediately took on an unmistakable overflow of energy. At its pinnacle, the line, as it became known, wound through focal London for ten miles with a holding-up season of twenty-four hours. In excess of two hundred and fifty thousand grievers went along with it. Nor for five days, following the ruler's passing on September 8, it turned into a public flood of misery and a demonstration of recognition for somebody who had consistently focused on the country's necessities over her own. However, it likewise turned into a social peculiarity, with stories of kinship, a live tracker watched by millions, and, at a certain point, a line to join the line. Subsequently, this quintessential English action became something more prominent simultaneously, a social commentary within recent memory. One that resonated so strongly has been immortalized in fiction by journalist and author Alexandra Hemingway in her latest work. The line has become one of those minutes that assuming you sat close to somebody on the transport or jumped into the corner shop to get milk, you could specify it and realize they would know what you're not kidding, she makes sense of. It rises above class, age and race, it hit us all sincerely profoundly. Hemingsley's book follows fictitious triplets Susie, 69, Mike, 42, and Abby, 19, three totally different individuals who meet and become companions because of the line. She continues, the dynamic of just turning up and not knowing who you be next to was really interesting to me. Hemingsley was enlivened by individuals who trample the riverside way and shaped solid bonds with those remaining close to them. Hemingsley later interviewed 20 people about their experiences after watching the queue in real time. About a portion of individuals I addressed said they hadn't stayed in contact. They adored individuals they met, 
and the experience was significant, yet they believed there were absolutely no point ever going to see them in the future, she says. The other half responded, Yes, we have dinner once a month, I love them. We will spend the rest of our lives in a WhatsApp quo. I also grasped the draw of major areas of strength for these ties, having expounded on my own insight of queuing, to see the late sovereign lying in state for the day-to-day -day express. As one of the initial not many hundred individuals, I never encountered the line's full length as it twisted past the London Eye, Tate Present Day, and the Shard. Nor did I stand shuddering in obscurity at 4 a.m. when spirits plunged as low as the temperatures before the beginning of another first light. However, I experienced the brotherhood that so many others encountered. I met Doreen and Lynn in their 70s and 60s, who revered the late ruler and had gone to various regal weddings and burial services all through their life. We got to know others and shaped a very close gathering throughout numerous hours, trading bites and stories as we crossed Lambeth Extension in the daylight before quietly offering our last appreciation to the late ruler. There were superfans of the royals there, obviously, and practically totally had Sovereign Elizabeth E. preeminent to them. In any case, Heminsley was struck, as was I, by the expansiveness of grievers who had gone from each side of England and across the world. Some had ventured miles while others joined the rear of the line in their work outfits following ten-hour shifts. The primary grievers set up their shelters 48 hours before the line, on the south side of Lambeth Extension, formally opened. A lot later, youthful and old strolled unemotionally as the night progressed, snoozing for a while when they could. According to Hemmingsley, the large attendance is a testament to the Queen, who was a significant figure on the international stage and was adored. Nobody questioned her patience. According to Moreover, she individuals were completely mindful this was the conclusion of an important time period. We were having such a high turnover of lawmakers, by then yet the late sovereign had been this finished relentlessness, Hemmingsley proceeds. There are not many individuals alive who can recollect a ruler before her, so they were most certainly individuals who needed to check history and say they were there. Before the sovereign's dimmers was declared, the writer had thought about composing what could be compared to a television bottle episode, in what characters collaborate in a bound space. However, out of nowhere, she ended up gave what was going on set with regards to a rare second. It was too great a chance to miss. Because she was at home taking care of her young child, Heminsley did not join the queue with other people. However, a close relative did, providing her with regular live updates through a family chat group. The pair later strolled the course together, permitting Heminsley to fill in any holes in her insight. She used everything she learned to create her characters. I needed somebody more established who recollected the sovereign's long life and grasped her social importance, with genuine recollections of the silver celebration, which is Susie, she makes sense of. Then I needed a more youthful person, Abby, who needed to be essential for something and was up to speed at the time. In addition, there was a middle-ground individual who recognized the larger context of communal grief, history, and ritual, and questioned the empire. The distress Hemmingsley is alluding to comes from the pandemic time frame. She experienced an amazing number of individuals who had lost guardians or grandparents to coronavirus, or who had been deprived during the months restricted at home. Many had missed burial services or had been compelled to watch them online due to obligatory social removing limitations. They hadn't felt there had been a place of refuge to put their sadness, which we had underestimated before coronavirus shown up, she says. She trusts the chance for individuals to walk and talk, liberated from their ordinary obligations, went about as a common mending for a country actually conquering misfortune. I understood how fastened the queuing was to the time of outrageous seclusion we had all knowledgeable about the former years, she says. At various points, people felt togetherness, and there were so many false starts coming out of the lockdown. This appeared to be the principal second where a common encounter was valued by a greater part of individuals. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.